Good morning everyone, Corgarin here. Welcome back. Uh, obviously we have a new update here today on Pet Simulator. We have the loot bank, loot bags and more. So this is a very short sort of intro. So let's go and start doing a bit of exploring. Hang on, I've got no sound here. This sounds a bit weird. All right. Oh good, I can hear things again. All right. Um, oh, hello. Hi Newt, uh, shout out to you, welcome. Um, Newt has been uh, on my channel for pretty much since the start, so um, good that you're here. Um, Alright, so, welcome everyone, let's get this show on the road, let's go and figure this out. So I reckon our new area is near the giant alien chest. I obviously, oh no, it still says coming soon. Okay, what do we got laying around, let's have a look. So we've got the chest, um... Tech shop. All right, maybe it's at the starter shop. This is brilliant. I always start these things, and I've got no idea where anything actually is. So, hang on, I've got to redeem my stuff. Um, is bank actually an item in here? Maybe settings? No. All right. This is why I should actually read things. Uh, hang on, let's ask Newt. Newt, where is the bank? Alright. Newt will have an answer for me. He just said he doesn't like it. Oh, it's in fantasy. I was just there. Ah, lovely. Um, Alright, let's duck over to fantasy. Uh, fantasy, fantasy world, fantasy shop. Uh... Oh, here it is. Bank. Still valuable pet. Share with friends. Interest on... Uh, okay. Buy an account. Well, that's not going to help me much. Alright. Give me a second. I'm going to pause and... Uh, yeah. Sell a few pets and then yeah, I'll be right back. One eternity later. Okay, everyone, back and uh, yeah, got a bit of cash with me now, so let's have a look. We'll come back and we'll buy accounts. I now own a bank. Congratulations! Yes, I feel so much better. And I've just realised how ridiculous I look with this woody on on the video. So bear with me. It is one of these quirks of Australia. It's summer, but it's freezing. All right, so let's have a look here. Bank is empty, deposit some pets. All right, let's deposit. I have got... Oh no, let's deposit. Let's deposit you, and you. Oh, I can deposit gems. So let's go 16, one, two, three, four, five, six. Let's... Deposit. Success! Right. Okay. My bank. Okay. Um, two pets. Settings. Tier 1. Tier 2. Oh, you've got to buy, upgrade it in Robux. Um, Alright, so. Starter account, one place, 50 mil cap, 225 million cap, and a 0.1% interest. All right, let's give that a go. All right, let's do this on screen in front of everyone. Got a few coins, a few Robux left over. I now have a tier two bank. Of course, Preston's done something like this. You know, he's gonna make his money somehow. What's tier three? 800, yeah, one billion cap. Yeah, look at that. That's how he's gonna make his money. All right, so, um, but the advantage is, hang on, what I will store away is my old diamond grabbing pets. Weren't fantastic, but they work. Hang on. Uh, no, stop. Uh, so, hang on, get my bank. I did, uh, let's withdraw these guys. Okay, let's deposit. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. No, I'm 
missing some. Who's you are, you are, you are, and you are. You're another one, you're another one, and you're another one. Alright. So, invites. Okay, settings. No, my bank. So, I should. I have no invites for any. I. Hang on, how do I? Settings. So, exit trading. Huh? Must be in here. I'm overlooking something. How do you invite other people to your bank? It's not in settings. Deposit withdraw settings. Ah, oh, there it is. Right. So can I invite? So There you go. Okay, so you can share them between accounts so that anyone you invite to the bank has access to your pets and your diamonds. So, what I'm going to do is a quick experiment on the side here. Kulgaran Channel Prize is my alt. Um, so, that's the one where I store um, pets that I'm keeping for prizes so as I don't accidentally fuse them. So, I'm just going to jump into a completely different. Uh, uh, server with that character and let's have a quick look so Kulgaran yep so yeah um, it looks like yeah I can now I wonder if So I can't get that other account over on this screen, so bear with me here. So my bank, I can actually see, so if we have a look at the, uh, what is it, big mascot down here. Oh hang on, I've got to go withdraw. You can see. Ooh, hang on, I wonder. Okay, I've got the big mascot there. What happens if I go withdraw? Big mascot. Uh, okay, no, the big mascot is out already. So, yeah, you can see that, um, yeah, be very careful who you give access to, because potentially uh, what you could do is get in there, even with someone you trust, and all of a sudden, we're in a bit of trouble here, so all of a sudden my um, gems have all just vanished. So make sure you don't invite people to your bank um, unless you really have to, basically. Unless they're your own accounts, uh, any alts that you've got. Because, yeah, people can come in and just rob you blind. Um, this is ridiculous. Um, okay. Uh, I was really hopeful that I could uh, use this as a way of paying out prizes to people, that I could select, uh, say, the dog and allocate it to, say, Newt there. Uh, if he'd won a prize, he'd won this dog, I could allocate the dog to him. He could jump in any time, pick up the dog and go. The best I can sort of do is have absolutely nothing in there and then one at a time allocate people to the bank with a prize. And, yeah, it's not really all that useful. All right, so I'm also going to assume too that there is no new egg by the look of this, because uh, otherwise it would have said so on the thing. So, although, yeah, look at that, no new egg. Although Preston is calling this a major update, I am actually disappointed, I have to say. Um, yeah, this is not what I was expecting. So, yeah, hang on, let's have a look at... I'm just going to pause for a second. I'm going to bring up the whole change logs uh, and see if there is anything else spectacular in here. Um, bear with me two seconds and I'll be right back. All right, everyone, I found the change log. So I'm just going to read it out exactly what it says. Um, it goes on starting off. I'm not going to read it exactly. It starts off talking about how much work and a lot more than anticipated, yada, yada, yada. So he's added the bank, introducing the bank. 
With a bank account, you can store diamonds, uh, sorry, store large amounts of pets and diamonds, share cross server with friends, brackets, and people you trust. That is going to be a key point. Don't go trading to people you don't trust. Um, earn uh, daily interest on diamonds. So I think, what did we work out? I can earn like 0.01%. Uh, it currently costs 7.5 million diamonds to open an account. Accounts start at tier 1 and can be currently upgraded to tier 7. High tier equals better perks. Anyone can invite you to their bank. Currently you can be a part of 5 banks at once. Tier 7 banks can have up to 6 members each. Open an account. Look for the building uh, you can find in every world except tech world because uh, of lighting bugs. We'll fix soon. Uh, I plan to do a lot of this. Uh, think bank leaderboards, clan battles with super exclusive rewards and much more. I'll be closely monitoring the bank after release. Hopefully there shouldn't be any downtime, but yeah, okay, so there was downtime. Farming coins and diamonds isn't uh, enjoyable and game currently cons uh, consists of a lot of AFK and big chests and waiting for hours. Yes, there is. Well, I don't want to remove this mechanic. I also want to promote either play uh, promote it either. Players that want to actively interact with the game should be given better rewards. After a month of ideas, this is a solution I came up with: loot bags. Loot bags will randomly pop up. So let's see what I can uh, bring out. While I'm doing that. Loot bags uh, will randomly pop up. They also pop out of chests too. Loot bags contain large sums, uh, sorry, large quantities of coins, diamonds, and even boosts. There's a chance you might even find a rare loot bags which contain very good rewards. See for yourself and let me know. All right, so let's get going. Um, Notice though that this is kind of a pointless exercise because I actually have maximum coins, but I do want to find a loot bag. One eternity later. Okay, apparently I've got a loot bag there and I missed it. I'm going to review that video and let's have a look. So. Oh, there's one right there. Look, there he is. See that loot bag right there sitting in the ground? So I don't know how it popped up. I'm going to walk over and pick it up. And look at that. I just got 12, I just got 12k of diamonds. So it looks like they're little tiny things. I was expecting actually decent size bags. Um, so let's see if I can find another one. Um, All right, so I found about five loot bags. We know what to look for. They're little tiny things. I'm just not sure how they spawned. If they're a natural spawning item or if, um, yeah, if they just sort of uh, pop out of these gems and chests and things that I'm breaking. So more investigation to come from that. A few minutes later. Okay, so just to round up this video, Monopoly here, who's one of my subscribers, has been uh, helping me experiment a little bit. Uh, you can see Monopoly has one cat out uh, with two uh, two stats. Uh, all of their other pets is in the bank. So whatever pets, so this is showing that whatever pets you've got in the bank don't affect, uh, don't add to your leaderboard uh, score. The leaderboard is still only pets in the inventory. All right, going over here, uh, what else did we discover? So the person that uh, invites other people to the bank, so in this case we're uh, I've invited uh, Corgaran Channel Prize here. I control their access, so I can remove that at any time. That other account can't remove themselves from my bank, so they can either accept the invite or ignore it, and that's the extent of the control they've got. Once they accept, nothing stops them from uh, being able to take pets. We couldn't find any way of restricting what they could uh, take out. So I was able to take out one of Monopoly's uh, pets when uh, we did a test run. Uh, I did put it back, don't stress. And um, yeah, I had full access. We did a bit of experimenting as well. Uh, Monopoly removed my access to their vault, but um, until I closed the window, I could still see everything they put, uh, put into the vault uh, bank and take out of the bank. Um, but it did actually stop me from removing a pet after I was removed from the bank. So that's at least something. That said, I'd like to strongly, strongly encourage you 
not to give other people access to your bank. It's just not worth it. They have access to every pet you have and they can clean you out in seconds. I've just gone and uh, thrown in a whole bunch of coins into my um, bank, but I did the math on it. Uh, 225 million cap at one per, uh, sorry 0.1 percent per day that means they should uh, be getting us I think it was what 200 uh, uh, 225k a day interest so it is worth it uh, even for that amount I haven't done the math on 1 billion um, to uh, sorry the tier 3 at max 1 billion cap with uh, 0 0.175 percent <sighs> what's that uh, 1.75 ish million I think yeah if I because I haven't had coffee bear with me so yeah it should be 1.75 million per day uh, to tier 3 with max uh, uh, diamonds in there don't know what tier 4 is so on and so forth but um, yeah it's gonna be big all right summary I'm not thrilled I don't think this is a great uh, update um, I can see look I'm gonna call it what it is it is an update to make Preston money that's all that matters. He wants us to want more diamonds and to spend Robux to get them. That's what it comes down to. There's going to be a bit of fluffing around and uh, what did he say earlier? There's going to be um, leaderboards for banks and uh, all sorts of other completely irrelevant things. Um, I'm just quickly going back here to see what I can see about him again. Um, okay. I plan to do a lot of work on this. I think bank leaderboards, clan battles with super exclusive rewards and much more. Basically, he's trying to get us to pay uh, Robux to upgrade our bank. That's all it is. Um, not overly thrilled. It's not that practical. The sharing of pets and things is just asking for trouble. At the time of recording this, I guarantee you there's already been a whole bunch of scammers out there. Give me access to your bank. I won't take anything. I just want to see what you've got and rob someone blind or some blood dirt. So don't do it. It's not worth it. Um, okay, so... Wrapping up this video, I'm going to do a giveaway of some description. Um, it's obviously there's no new eggs, so that's going to sort of limit what I can give away. Um, I'm still working on some of my own dark matter um, uh, foxes, so um, hopefully that gives me a bit more time to get those. But I'm going to whip up, uh, might whip up a whole bunch, a whole bunch more dark matter surfers and give away uh, in this competition. So. Giveaway details, be a subscriber as always. Uh, liking the video is also a great, uh, you know, great thing to do. It makes me feel a bit better about myself. Okay, and comment in this video your Roblox account name. Now the reason I get just you to put the Roblox account name in is simple. That is the only account I'm gonna pay the prize to. You can't uh, put in an account name and then jump on with an alt and get the prize. You'll have to log into the account that you named in the comment. Also, in the last one, I've had multiple people tell me the same person has said they could have their prize. This has just confused things. I'm not. In, uh, I'm jumping through hoops here at the moment. So I'm going to set an extra rule so as we're all clear. If you're entering, but um, you know, think oh, I'll give my prize to my brother and you can't be bothered logging in yourself and you know you're not going to, add an extra line in the comment saying, if I win, give the prize to and the account name you want me to give it to. Because otherwise, it'll only be you that can get the prize because yeah, I'm not doing this backwards and forwards thing all the time. So if you want the prize, uh, enter with just your account name. If you want to enter and give it to someone else, enter and put, if I win, give this to whoever, whatever their account name is. All right, everyone, thanks for watching. Have a good week. Hopefully the next update is gonna be a lot better. Hopefully it's gonna be new eggs and everything and there'll be something more to do. Loot bags, uh, you know, I know he said he's done that to make Endgame a bit more exciting rather than AFK grinding. Not sure he's been successful with that, but uh, I'll have to give it a fair test to really say that. However, thus far, not impressed. All right, everyone, sadly, uh, you know, my overall opinion of this uh, update is very low, but hopefully it's only going to grow from here. Until next time, everyone, I'm Corgaran, and I'll see you in the next video.